Australian singer Kelsey Carter just got Harry Styles tattooed on her face. Apparently. It certainly looks like it from the picture she posted on Twitter. But we live in a world where fake restaurants get to number one on TripAdvisor and set up pap shots of a Justin Bieber lookalike eating a burrito sideways is breaking news. So the jury's still out on whether it's real or just a publicity stunt carefully timed to the release of her new music video. That said, we also live in a world where famous people get really dumb tattoos. Ah, celebrities. Just like us. Here are some of the best worst ones. Clearly Harry Styles is no stranger to bad tats, both ones of him on other people and ones on himself. The star has some lyrics from a song called Sweet Disposition by Ozzy Band the Temper Trap tattooed on him, but they're wrong. Instead of Won't Stop To Surrender, he has Won't Stop Till We Surrender tattooed on him. Apparently Taylor Swift pointed out the mistake to him when they were going out, even going so far as to get the band's lead singer Dougie to write the correct lyrics on a piece of paper for a birthday. Present. In an interview about it, Dougie said, So I had this dilemma in my mind at that point. Do I write the wrong lyrics? Do I write the right lyrics? I kept it real. I wrote the right lyrics, man. And Taylor and Harry broke up a couple of months after that. But hey, at least that tattoo's subtle, unlike Ben Affleck, who has a giant tattoo of a multicolored phoenix across the entirety of his back. And while he said in a 2016 interview that it was fake, Pat Shops from 2018 showed it was very very real. Apparently very useful though, when the New Yorker published an article titled The Great Sadness of Ben Affleck, he tweeted, at New Yorker, I'm doing just fine. Thick skin bolstered by garish tattoos. And then there's all the celebrities who got tattoos dedicated to relationships that didn't last. So you know, maybe just avoid those. Or don't, whatever, there's always laser. Empire actor Jussie Smollett has been attacked in an alleged homophobic racist hate crime. According to Chicago police, two white men beat him up, poured chemicals on him, tied a noose around his neck and yelled homophobic and racial slurs. TMZ report that the attackers yelled, this is MAGA country. It's a disgusting attack on the LGBTQ community and people of colour. As journalist Stacey Marie Ishmael tweeted, what happened to Jussie Smollett is terrorism. People have been quick to support Jussie and to condemn these sorts of attacks that are unfortunately far, far too prevalent. As filmmaker Eugene Lee Yang tweeted, anyone who turns bleach into a weapon is a danger to society. Anyone who turns a rope into a noose is committing a hate crime. Anyone who cannot recognise that queer black people continue to be physically attacked in this country is contributing to the problem. Actor Zachary Quinto posted about about how the morning of the attack, he was reading a play with Jussie about a baseball player coming out. He writes, I was pondering the impact of this play, which was written 17 years ago. And there was a part of me that actually wondered if this was still as relevant in the current socio-political climate, considering how far we've come. And then I read about what happened to Jussie last night in Chicago, less than 12 hours after we finished the reading. And I was utterly flawed on so many levels. He adds, I was absolutely enraged by the injustice and the senselessness of such violence. But I was also vividly reminded that we must continue our fight for equality and acceptance at every turn in this country and in this world. This act of terrorism highlights the very real dangers minorities face every single day. It also shows how the rise of the alt-right is only galvanizing hate crimes against marginalized communities, something we all need to stand up against. Our thoughts are with Jussie. Would you go vegan for Beyonce, Jay-Z? Cause they want you to. The pair are offering a lifetime of free tickets to their gigs to a fan who vows to eat a more plant-based diet for a month. The initiative's called The Green Print and aims to show how we can have a huge positive impact on the planet through what we eat. There's even a cool interactive website that gives you stats. For example, by eating 11 plant-based meals, you apparently could have the environmental impact equivalent to 17 trees absorbing harmful gases from the air in a month. Or save the equivalent amount of water needed to fill 295 pitchers of water for a family in India. While it's great to see such massive stars promote ways to save our dying planet, if you're in it just for the tickets, you should probably read the fine print. The competition's only open to those over 18 and who live in the US. And the lifetime they talk about is technically only 30 years, which is a relatively short estimate considering all the newfound health benefits you'll get for your new plant-based diet. But that doesn't matter. You shouldn't do it just for the prize. Because do you know what's even better than having free tickets for 30 years? Keeping the planet alive for more than 30 years. Woohoo! We love Earth!